Would you like to see us break our first sample here at Bolt Busters? Check it out on this episode of How Not to Bolt Bust. Hi, I'm Ryan Jinx, and this is Bobby Hutton. And he has helped me for the last three months design Bolt Busters. And we're here today in my backyard in order to break our first sample. Now, if you haven't seen Bolt Busters and how we've made this beautiful machine, uh, check out our other episode on the birth of Bolt Busters, Slack's Snap's sister. Now, the idea here with Bolt Busters is that we're gonna break hundreds of bolts in all sorts of different kinds of rocks and then the ropes, how they uh, correspond with those bolts. Because if we get a great bolt in great rock, let's say the wave bolt, but it's only like a six millimeter uh, rod, how does your rope get affected by that? We wanna see how all the components work together and we're gonna do that here at Bolt Busters. Uh, we're doing this in my backyard. This backyard's a little bit nicer than it used to be. There's Lorenzo there and the spa and a patio cover and all sorts of things. I wasn't planning on making my backyard this nice. And so we did several episodes of Equalization is a Myth going to that tree right there. And uh, when I was building my gate, I had Hilti V3 500 glue. It was expired, just so we know that. And that's why I used it for my gate, uh, which has like a plate and a post and bolted it in there. And I thought maybe I should fill up one of these holes. It's a half inch hole with the closest bolt that couldn't run away from me, which was a 3 8 inch zinc plated redhead wedge bolt. You're not supposed to use glue for mechanical bolts. So that's why I did it. And we're going to brake test it today. Now, uh, we'll give you a quick thing here is this goes up when we pump oil into this and we're using vegetable oil here and we're already at three kilonewtons. So let's find out if this completely breaks my patio concrete or if the bolt breaks or if the hanger breaks. I hope it's not my patio. You ready Lorenzo? You ready Bobby? Ready. You're pretty excited about yeah, this. I'm so excited. If, uh, if you're in Lodi, California, swing by, we'll do a soft shackle party, hot tub, hang out, and probably maybe not bolt bust. I may not be excited about doing this in my backyard after we're done here. But uh, anyways, we're at 2.78 kilonewtons right there. And we have our GoPro to film what's going on and our bolt. So uh, ready? take it away, man. All right. 2.8, 3.3, .3. oh my God. Yeah, yeah, I see what you were talking about. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I'm not reading anything on the pressure gauge. Why are our kilonewtons going down? Oh my god! Oh, that's so <laughs> anticlimactic! Oh, slack snap's way more fun! <laughs> Is this trip the bolt? I guess. What happened? Oh so man, that was anticlimactic. Or... So we have here... <clears throat> Let's see here. And that guy. Yeah, it basically pulled the nut off. But the threads. You have a thinner hanger? Uh, shit, maybe. I don't know. Ah. One of those Metolius ones will be thinner. We'll figure it out and uh, be right back, folks. <laughs> okay, Bobby. What did we have to do to fix this? So we got a thinner hanger. Uh, we took out the washer and then we just tightened the nut down over the damaged threads. We'll see what happens. All right, we're gonna try this again. Um, we're at 0.98 kilonewtons. Let's turn on our GoPro, and you can put us to uh, two kilonewtons to get us started. I'm actually recording the GoPro this time. Oh, no, that's photos, gosh darn it. You should leave the dyno off for this one. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. Okay, yeah, it doesn't want to spin. So, here, don't don't turn it. Just pump. All right, one point eight, almost to three, and three, four, 
4.5, 4.75 kilonews. Yay, it's actually working. Should I scoot back? Oh, the hanger's moving. Man, this is a gnarly set. Wow, seven. I'm going to scoot back. <laughs> I have yet to register on the PSI gauge. Wow, there's no PSI yet on the... At all. Wow. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how this shit breaks, so it like, makes me kind of concerned. Maybe if I turn this way. <laughs> if the hanger breaks, it's going to be like a ninja star. <laughs> <laughs> ninja star. Just keep doing full, full strokes there. Vegetable oil, folks. For all natural... Uh... It's a vegetarian pump. <laughs> it's a vegetarian pump. Huh. It's nice. It's... Your wing nuts are... Yeah, yeah. Keep going, keep going. It's dropping because the thing's stretching. and. Oh, that's so cool, man. It just stripped off the... Yeah, it ripped the hanger off the threads. We found the thread breaking strength, the TBS. <laughs> uh, we should put peak on sometime. Yeah, that would be yeah. cool. Yeah, so Lorenzo, you're right about... Uh, I called it. He called it. <laughs> hey, hey, the GoPro's on this time, you guys, okay? Uh, breaking stuff is complicated. So since this is not as climactic as we thought, by the way, in case you're wondering, this is what's in the rock. This is 3 8 inch by, uh, I don't know, almost four inches, zinc plated red head. You can see how it's a wedge bolt there. What is our, uh, what's uh, our hanger status? So it started to stretch. Yeah, it's really stretchy. Steel yeah. stretches, aluminum goes pop. Um, well, that was gonna go sooner or later, but that, that bolt's not moved much. So, all right, we have a surprise. We're not just doing one, we're doing two. So this is from uh, DeWalt, you said? This is a DeWalt stainless steel wedge bolt, so like like the other kind, but like Marketed quality. Oh, this is called the Powers Bolt? Power Bolt. Power Bolt, without the S. Uh, this is the hanger we tried to use on the last one, um, but it came off. So this is still functioning just fine. This half inch and a half inch hole. No glue, normal, normal. Um, I have a feeling, I have a feeling this will break because, I don't know just how the last thing happened. So, we're gonna move the machine over. All right, Bobby, what do we have here? So, half inch uh, wedge bolt, power bolt by DeWalt um, with a fixed hanger. Let's put zero. And peak. And peak. We're getting better, you guys. We're at five kilonewtons. How you doing? <laughs> Having... No PSI. No PSI. Wow, six. I'm gonna step back. Six. Ooh, that hanger is gonna fucking blow. Eight. Nine. Still no movement on the PSI. <laughs> so we didn't need as big of a hydraulic cylinder as we thought? Probably not. Is my GoPro gonna break? It's right over it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the case. Well, at least we know it's like really bends a lot before it comes out. <laughs> yeah, you'd definitely be able to tell if it had taken a big load. That's usually, it's usually how big loads go. <sighs> so many setups in the past hour. That thing's 45 degree angle right now. Holy potatoes. You're Keep going. Inside. Don't get limperous now. Whoa, we're at 21? What? Dude. What? My poor concrete. <laughs> 22. 23. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> 24. <laughs> I'm hiding around the corner, guys. I don't know, it's probably 20 something. 25. 26. 27. Jesus Christ. That hanger is ready for 30. You have a few more pumps, you're done. 30 or 35, yeah, yeah. Talking God. Yeah. Turning to a Cheerio. <laughs> I'm to look. Yeah, don't look. Oh my God, I'm looking directly at it. <laughs> Lorenzo, you really ought to not do that. <laughs> I'm probably not smart, but I'm gonna have the best information visually. 
I feel like I need like chaps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we need to put a shield around the base. Yeah, some plexiglass or something. Yeah, yeah, we really ought to actually. A GoPro one, there you go. Where are we at? Uh, 36. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> so we don't need glue ones. We can just put in like basic stainless steel wedge bolts. In concrete. In basic Incredible. fucking concrete. Will you break this thing already, man? <laughs> I know you got. Oh I know you got play in the pump, but don't worry about it. They like it's not gonna come off. Do you have oil dripping out of your lever? Keep going. Yeah, no, no PSI yet? Uh, we're at 100. Oh. 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 <laughs> what do you think, Tuff? You almost jumped over the fence here. <laughs> wow, this thing, this thing jumped so much. Oh. I wish I was filming that. Oh. This thing jumped. Oh my God. Okay, 43 kilonewtons. Oh fuck, that's that's a forever bolt. Wow, the hanger didn't break. Where'd the where'd the hanger go, guys? Oh. Hold on. Let's turn that around. Well that used to be a hanger. It should say the kilonewton rating on it. It should be 35. It's 30. 30. Oh shoot. 43 kilonewtons. Now that's an RBS I can get behind. Wow. Uh, how's my GoPro? Uh, <laughs> you know, we're still okay. Okay, GoPro's good. Yeah, uh, and it, did you look at this? It broke. Yeah. Yeah, our bolt is... Yeah, I was expecting failure of the I'm interface between the nut and the threads again. I'm so proud of my concrete. Good, good job, concrete. All right. Well, we can do a lot of brake tests in concrete. As long as the concrete's not failing, we can actually test a lot of failure. We're also going to do brake tests pulling um, in shear, which would cause basically similar results as this. Um, but we're not going to do that tonight. But this is worst case scenario. Yeah, that's the worst case scenario with like, with bolts that we don't, we, like the shit we use is even better than that. Wow. Because um, a half inch. Right? That's a half inch. Half inch. Whereas sleeve bolts are... Like a three eighths inch stud with that sleeve around it, yeah. right? Whereas this, like the whole half inch is full of like a solid piece of metal. One other quick note is look at how uh, deep that bit into this half inch quick link. Does this thing still work? Yes. Still works. Barely. Um, but I had to get a crescent wrench to loosen it out. But that's just super interesting how much that affected that. Uh, <laughs> don't bolt brake test with me. <laughs> Shit, we gotta make this thing a little bit safer so we can study safety safely. Uh, bolts do eventually break. Eventually. Therefore, you shouldn't highline.